everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make some DIY wooden lanterns. Today is another exciting day because I am doing a collaboration with Cass from Clutterbug. If you haven't ever visited her channel, you definitely should subscribe, watch her videos. She is not only hilarious, but so talented with organizing DIYs on a budget and decorating. So check out her video after you have watched mine. We are both sharing today a fall DIY for under $10. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I share DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I would love for you to subscribe and join our DIY mommy family. So I was inspired to make these DIY wooden lanterns for my fall front porch decor when I saw some similar lanterns at Crate and Barrel. Very, very simple lines, wooden with a metal handle, and they were quite expensive, and I thought, hey, I could probably make something really similar for not very much money, and it wouldn't be too hard to do. So I used some supplies from my local hardware store and I used some really simple tools and I made these lanterns for my porch. So now let me show you how to make these DIY wooden lanterns for your own fall decor this year. Let's get started. So to begin, I took Little B to the Home Depot and I found these two by two spruce pieces of wood and they were $2.72 each and I used three of them to make one lantern. Then I used a miter saw. This is just a little seven and a half inch miter saw that I just got, so I'm so excited to try it to cut my pieces of wood. You could just use a hand saw as well if you don't want to use a miter saw, but I definitely find using a miter saw is really, really quick, and once you learn how to use it and use it safely, it's such a great tool to have. So I used my miter saw to measure and cut out all the pieces that I needed. Like I said, I used under three pieces to make one lantern, so I cut 11 seven and a half inch long strips, two 10 and a quarter inch long strips, and four 21 inch long strips. I will leave all of these measurements down in my blog post in the description box below if you want to read the step-by-step -step directions on my blog and get this cut list. And if you want to make one lantern out of only two strips of this wood, you could just make it a little bit shorter and then it would be that much cheaper. So after I cut all the pieces of wood, I made sure to sand them just to get the little splinters off the ends. I didn't sand them too much because I wanted that really rustic look. So just a quick sand, sanding the edges, and then I was done that part. Then I used this Ferrothane Aged Wood Accelerator. They actually sent this to me to try, so I was curious to see how it worked. And you just brush it on the wood with a foam brush, and it just kind of gives the wood that really natural aged look, which I really like that look, and it really matches the rustic look that I wanted for my porch this year. So you just brush it on and let it dry. You don't have to wipe it off or anything, and it soaks right into the wood. I was really, really happy with the color that it gave my wood. My wood is spruce. Um, I did have to dry it out in the rain, so as you can see, there's going to be some drips and just some kind of blotches that I didn't really like, but when I was finished building my lantern, I just went over the whole thing again with more stain, and that seemed to fix the problem. So I used a nail gun and some liquid nails, no more nails, to make my lantern. So first I'm putting seven of the seven and a half inch strips together, and then putting the two ten and a half inch strips of wood on either side of those. And then I'm using my finishing nail gun to nail those smaller pieces to the larger pieces on the side. If you don't want to use a nail gun, you could nail these by hand or you could use screws and a screwdriver. However, I really like using this finishing nailer. This is my husband's. Uh, I want to get my own really soon, maybe a little smaller one, but it definitely makes the job really, really quick and it's really easy to use. So I'm just nailing all the pieces on one side and then I'm nailing them on the other side as well. This is my third attempt at making these lanterns and I tried lots of different methods, first with just the nails, next with just some of the wood glue and then finally with the wood glue and the nails and I did find that putting a little bit of wood glue on my wood and then nailing everything together made the lantern nice and sturdy. So I didn't use the glue for the bottom pieces, but I did use the glue for the top pieces of my lantern before I nailed them together. So after my base was made, I just put the longer strips, the 21 inch strips onto the corner of the base like this, and then nailed them in place from the bottom of my lantern. So you can see some of the blotches in the stain that I wasn't really happy with here because I had to dry this out in the rain. Uh, so again, I fixed this at the very end because I'm going to go over everything with that stain one more time. 
And so here you can see I'm just putting the No More Nails glue onto the ends of my wood piece before I nail it in place with my nail gun. You could also probably just use some regular yellow wood glue or that PL construction glue. That would probably work as well. Uh, I just like this No More Nails glue because it's really, really strong. And this just helps uh, my pieces not swirl around on my lantern. It keeps them nice and sturdy so that the final lantern will last me a long time. So after I put the vertical pieces on, I'm just putting these horizontal pieces on the top. These are the final four seven and a half inch long pieces of two by two. And I'm just putting them in place. And you might need to kind of uh, hold the lantern up with one of the loose pieces when you put the other piece on, just like I'm doing here. And they each go in between the long pieces just like this. So this is a really easy build. If you're really new to woodworking, this is a great one to start with because it's so simple. You're just using two by twos and you're just doing straight cuts. So it's really, really nice and simple to use. Again, you could try using hand tools if you want, but if you have access to power tools and you have someone show you how to use them or you wanna try them, uh, definitely a great one to try. So then I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for the handle of the lantern. At first I thought maybe some rustic rope might be cool, but then I thought, hey, I had these old wire clothes hangers. So I just cut the tops of them off with some pliers and then I'm just bending them with pliers around either side of my lantern top, just like this. I kind of actually liked the brass color of these vintage wire hangers, so I just left the brass color as is and I'm just taking my pliers and wrapping them around either side of my lantern for this rustic looking handle and it was zero dollars so it didn't really add to the cost of my lantern at all. But again, if you wanted to use some rope instead and just tie it on either side of the top of your lantern, that would be a really nice rustic look too and that would actually even look really nice in the summer, almost more of a nautical look than this. And that is it, that's how to build this lantern. Uh, again, like I said, you might wanna go over, if you're using that wood stain that I used here from Verithane, you might wanna go over the lantern again with the stain at the end just to get out any uneven parts. I love how this looks for fall with some little pumpkins inside just stacked like this. Another way that I like to decorate this is by putting some flameless candles inside. These are just the battery operated ones. And then I'm putting some flowers from my garden around the candles just like this. I thought it would also be cute to wire some maybe faux flowers around the frame of this lantern to give it even more of a romantic look and I might do that for another season. So that is my DIY wooden lantern. It's crate and barrel inspired and it cost me less than $10. So I decided to make two of them for my porch because I love to have pairs of things, especially for either side of my door. And so both of these together cost me less than $20. They were really, really easy to build and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think if I was to make these again, I maybe would try a different stain or maybe I would try painting them for a totally different look. And here's a look at my fall front porch this year. I'm using really light and romantic tones of pink and green and rustic wood. I love how these DIY wood lanterns look with my great grandpa's antique rocking chair. It's basically the same tone of wood. It's so pretty. And then I just used some fake pumpkins and real pumpkins to decorate the rest of my porch for the season. You might remember my DIY wreath and I love how it looks with all the rest of our porch decor. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this DIY wooden lanterns tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you would ever make these lanterns for your fall front porch decor. And again, make sure to go check out Cass's video from Clutterbug and see what she made for less than $10 for her fall decor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget, hit that bell when you subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as I post a new video. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.